Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, our good news this week has a theme running through it, sort of, and that theme is water. We begin with the news that the Hubble Space Telescope has detected water vapor above the surface of Jupiter's moon Europa. There's already evidence suggesting the presence of water beneath the surface of Europa. This discovery of water vapor would seem to point to erupting water plumes, which would make Europa the second moon in the solar system to have such water plumes alongside Saturn's moon Enceladus. The discovery of these water plumes opens up the possibility of investigating the composition of Europa in detail without the need to land a spacecraft and drill through the moon's icy surface. We move now from water in space to a potentially revolutionary development regarding water here on Earth. Researchers at the University of Houston have developed a method of extracting the hydrogen from water, potentially creating a source of clean, renewable energy. The method, which involves light and cobalt oxygen nanoparticles, separates water into its constituent elements of hydrogen and oxygen. But don't put a down payment on a hydrogen-powered car just yet. This new technique is a breakthrough. It's the simplest, most efficient photocatalytic method for deriving hydrogen from water yet, but there are still a few kinks to be worked out. The cobalt oxygen nanoparticles don't react with the water for very long, and the light to hydrogen conversion rate needs to be about twice what it currently is in order for this method to be commercially viable. Nonetheless, important and exciting news, and research is ongoing. Finally, we stretch our theme a bit in this last story to include creatures that live in the water, namely a fish called the Mexican tetra, which may hold the key to understanding a powerful mechanism of evolution. The tetra, scientific name Osteonyx mexicanus, has two forms, a surface form and a cave form that lives in near total darkness in underwater caverns. Though they look different, as you can see in this photo, the cave form lacks eyes and skin pigmentation, the two forms can interbreed and are, in fact, the same species. The most interesting aspect of this is that the blind cave form seems to have evolved very rapidly, perhaps too rapidly for the classical view of evolution as change and gradual adaptation to explain. Now, a new study conducted at MIT's Whitehead Institute may have the explanation. A protein called HSP90, which is thought to suppress genetic variations in organisms. Populations under extreme physiological stress, for example, fish which have been suddenly swept into the new environment of an underwater cave, can see their levels of HSP90 drop unleashing those suppressed variations, some of which could be advantageous in the new environment, resulting in dramatic changes to the phenotype of a species in many fewer generations than might otherwise be expected. The Hubble telescope discovers water vapor on a moon of Jupiter, scientists develop a technique for deriving hydrogen from water, and a blind fish helps researchers to understand one of evolution's most potent instruments. That's the good news. So how do you think that one went?